As we remind you that Sean Payton and the Saints combination was the highest scoring coach de coach team duo in NFL history. What else can you add, Adam, to what you already heard there from Payton? Well, a few things here to keep in mind. He talked about the fact that he got turned down for the job in Green Bay. That's a job that went to Mike McCarthy at the time. And Mike McCarthy is in Dallas. And a lot of people are wondering mm -hmm. now if Sean Payton is going to wind up coaching the Dallas Cowboys. No, he's not. Not this season. That's not happening. That's not on the table. That's not an option. Sean Payton is going to take some time to unwind here, process. He very well could come back to coaching next year after taking this season off. But right now, it doesn't look like it's in the cards for Sean Payton to coach this season. Could he be in television? That's certainly possible. But this is a decision that Sean Payton came to over recent weeks. He's known about this for quite some time. He took some time in Mexico the last couple of weeks to play golf, unwind, relax, make sure that he was making the right decision, came in today, started meeting with the Saints staff last night, met with them again today, and then held a meeting a short time ago where he informed all of them about his decision, spoke to them for 35 minutes, and told them, as he just said, that he doesn't know what's next, but he's going to be open to anything. But he's not going to be coaching this year in all probability. That's hard to imagine, despite the fact that there are now nine head coaching vacancies across the National Football League. Sean Payton is not the likely guy to fill in one of them. And the Saints now find themselves as the most recent team that looks to have a head coaching need. And Dennis Allen has been the interim replacement for Sean Payton before. He figures to be the favorite now, but there's a process that this team has to go through, will go through. And we've seen many times a team have a leader in the clubhouse going into a search only to wind up on a different candidate. And we'll see what the Saints do. But Dennis Allen certainly will be one of the favorites for this job as the Saints move forward. Sean Payton doesn't know what's next. He'll see what's in his future. The Saints will see what's in their future. But this is the end of an era in New Orleans because Sean Payton took over this team at a time where nobody wanted to go to New Orleans, where it had just been through Hurricane Katrina, where that was really the last place that anybody around the league would want to go. And he turned it into one of the marquee NFL franchises. And I think that when he stands up at that podium in Hawaii, he's auditioning for a future job because mm. there might be some NFL owner today that sees what Sean Payton is saying and says, that's a guy that when he's ready, I want him to coach my team. I also will say this, Laura, many people assumed that Bill Cowher, once he stepped away from the Steelers, would go back to coaching, and he never did. So we never know what's going to happen once a coach takes a break from the game, steps away, and does something different with his life. The lifestyle that coaches live is very chaotic, yeah. very stressful. And if you look at the pictures of any head coach from the day they take office till the day they leave, the only job that ages somebody faster may be the president of the yep. United States. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with Sean Payton here going forward. But he's going to take some time, and the Saints will take some time, and it's the end of an era in New Orleans. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.